Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our Windows 11 24H2 May Security Patch Tuesday update that's rolling out. And for this month, the update is KB5058411. And the update rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 13th of May. Now, first of all, just taking a look at the security fixes that have rolled out. And for 24H2, we get 36 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. That's one more than 23H2. 33 important vulnerabilities and three critical vulnerabilities. And critical, obviously, as you may well know by now, is the highest ranked vulnerability. So 36 vulnerabilities, three critical which makes it quite an important security update. Now, over and above the security fixes that have rolled out, Microsoft has also included two bug fixes with this update. The first is an audio fix where the update addresses an issue where the audio from your microphone might mute unexpectedly. And then the second fix is for the R controller, where the R controller app doesn't launch. So that's a bit of an accessibility fix. Then over and above those two bug fixes, Microsoft has also rolled out updates for AI components, which is obviously for Copilot Plus PCs, which this one I'm using is not. And the AI components that have been updated with this release would be your image search, content extraction, and semantic analysis. And those are all Copilot Plus features. And then we also get a servicing stack update which is the component that installs Windows updates. Now, with that all out of the way, the security update, as you may well know, also includes improvements that were part of this update, KB5055627, which rolled out towards the end of last month, April. So if you didn't install the update, as always, those bug fixes and improvements will be carried over into 5058411. Now, as always, if you'd like a wider overview as to what rolled out because there were 14 new features and I say new kind of in inverted commas because most of the new features that rolled out were for Copilot Plus PCs where Microsoft's focus obviously is now. Now if you'd like a wider overview as to what has rolled out go check that previous video out it'll be linked down below and in the end screen but just for the purpose of this video just to kind of keep us all on the same page just to do a quick recap now, just take note, though, that these features are rolling out controlled. So Microsoft is phasing the rollout, so you may or may not see them. Now, first of all, the update started the rollout again of Windows Recall and Click to Do, which are both AR features, and that would be for Copilot Plus PCs. Now, on that note, just to mention something quickly that I did spot that I mentioned previously, if we head into our settings system and we head down to system components, speaking of click to do, it adds this unannounced entry to the system apps list for non Copilot Plus PC. So even though this is a non Copilot Plus PC, it's got click to do preview, which is 16 kilobytes in size. And previously you could click on a three dotted menu which just gave you a couple of more options but nothing like that anymore that three dotted menu has also been removed so basically if you click on it it does nothing so still not too certain what this is all about click to do preview which is a copilot plus pc feature that's now an unannounced entry to the system apps list for non-copilot plus pcs it does improve windows search for copilot plus pcs it also adds speech recap to narrator and mobile devices now have direct access to cross device features from the start menu which is the new companion widget to the right hand side of the start menu it includes pivot based views on file explorer home and the desktop icons no longer show an accent colored backplate so just a quick recap, if I head to my snipping tool, I drag it onto the desktop, 
that back plate, that little square, used to be a solid blue or a solid back plate. And now you can see that it's almost translucent and transparent. So I'm very happy to see that a small little user interface tweak which just makes customizing your desktop a lot better. It just takes away a lot of unnecessary clutter um, if that's something you'd like to do on your desktop. And then Windows Update now provides an estimated time for how long your PC will be offline to install updates. Now I haven't seen that yet but that'll be on your Windows Update page and Microsoft also says yeah on your by your start button where you need to restart your PC it'll also give you that estimated time. And it fixes two known issues and included plenty bug fixes and a whole lot more. Go check that video out if you'd like to see the full package. Now, because this update is compulsory, once you've installed KB5058411, the build will be bumped up. So just to head to our About Windows menu, 24H2 OS build is 26100.4061 after that update has been installed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.